Right, so this is the wireless heart rate monitor. So on the back of it is where the battery pack would be. So when it's been used, you need to make sure that they are working. Once you've done that, you need to clip it onto the duct tape like slots there and then cover it up just so that it doesn't fall out and it's all compact. There's also this slot underneath on the, where it sits on the horse, which will take the heart rate monitor as well. But this will be higher up on their back just to get an extra reading to make it more accurate. So you put it onto the horse. You want to make sure the heart rate, the pod is on the outside. Slide this over the back. Pull it round so that this goes there. And then go underneath. Do you want to hold it this way? Okay. And then you're going to put it under and fasten it on the left-hand side just so it's below the monitor. Once on, it should sit just behind the armpit of the horse, quite snugly, so that it can take the best reading. And then you will see the other bit of the monitor sits just above the hand on the shoulders, so it's comfortable there, but all needs to lay flat with no twists on it as well. Reading, ready? Your readings will come through on a watch which is wireless to this, so all the sensors will read straight away to the watch. Once your readings come up, they will be coming up on the screen and they'll be flashing. There'll be a heart rate picture with a little heart to show that it's active. Um, if it's not working, it will just be stationary and there won't be a heart rate picture to show that it's, you've got a reading coming through that's live. So once it, it, that comes through, it will just keep going and keep changing so it will never stay set on a certain number or digit. And that's how it reads. And then that's always live, so you don't have to turn it on or off. And then just when you finish, just unclip it under the stomach and obviously hold it so it doesn't ping up and hurt the horse. And then just gently slide it off and that's it.